Okay, this is Mafosi that, and today we're looking at volume 8 of the SIC Takumi Damashi set. So, here in the front cover, this is made in 2007, you see um, Kamen Rider Atrito on his Machine Tornado. And so, I bought this at the Loco um, Tokyo Outlet at the mall for 10 bucks. So, you see here uh, it has the website, the Tamashi JP. With Akarinja versus an enemy of the scythe and Kamerader Ajito with the mission tornado. And on the other side, it has a little read up. And here is Kamerader Black RX versus, um, uh, I forget his name in Japanese. Because, um, the thing in the English, the English version, it was like Count Dakin or something. So the bottom has all like the warning information. Top, as you saw, just has signs, a little thing on here with the toy symbols so you can hang it. So on the back, it has um, four figures, but they each have two variations. So it's eight figures in total. So the first one is Akared, not Akared. Um, Akarinja versus, I think this might be the, the boss, the final boss, the enemy to the side. And then here is a alternate color, black. Here is um, Kamen Rider Ajito ground form. The, I think he might be preparing his kick. And over here is Kamen Rider Ajito flame form doing his final attack. On the far right is Comrade Black RX versus the Count, and down here is the alternate uh, RX as Shadow Moon. Not in color of this. And down here, these are the Machine Tornado in regular colors, and in a silver and red variant. So let's see what we get, because I I like all of these be honest, except maybe I'm not too keen on getting either of the Akarinja ones because I haven't watched the series fully yet, so let's see what we get. The... Oh, this is more easy. Yeah, it's so old. Look at that. Look at that. That's good. There we go. Up. Fold up. And the fun thing with this is they're all in black bags. You can't really tell what the colors are until you open it. So that makes it even more exciting. You can kind of feel it. So I can get a guess the way it is. But there's a base. It was a tape. It's not sealed. It's taped. And so let's find out what it is. So. At the front, it's basically about how to find stuff at the and yeah, this is just a general overview of all the things. This is the Aka Ranger and how to attach everything together. The Agital. An RX, the machine tornado, and this is how to switch the arms. If you get the two, these two sets, you can switch the arms out so you can ride the machine tornado, which I think is pretty cool. Let's put this up. And let's open up the tape and see what we get. Now this has a red effect part, the only effect parts I see is Kamen Rider Black RX, yeah isn't that awesome? So this must be the saber part 
of the sword he carries. With that, mine is the hilt, of course, and this is the effect part that can you can switch off. It's an optional effect part. It doesn't have anything to attach at the end. This is pretty cool. Another attach point up here. Being very careful not to damage the part of the this. Okay, got that off. Now this is solid PVC, it's very thick here as to be expected, it looks very nice when it's swinging, so now that I know what it is, let's actually open this up and see the rest of it. And I can see at the top. There's even more bags. That's why it felt weird to me. So let's move all this extra stuff in the back and focus on the main point. And here there's tape down here. Like with most things, they are separated by parts and by character. So here is the the Baron in the bag, and here is. Well, let me look, look it up right now. I should know this because this is one of the first. Common Rider series I've actually watched. Let me open RX first. Because he's very cool character design. Especially when compared to the original black costume. Well, not black as in coloration black, but the series. I think this might still be called the King's State, but I'm not sure. So here's his arm. Looks very. It's very detailed with the hilt, where you can either attach the sword. Oh no, this isn't. This is for the. The count getting attached in the sword here as his final attack. See by the help. Let's disconnect this because this has another tab. Don't want it to go missing on me. Okay. And here is Kamen Rider Black in the pose. Everything else is non removable. There is a peg hole here, peg here. He is in jumping motion. You can see his eyes, his face goes very nice, very cool, and along with his character design, very slick. So, let's get this one back up. Oh, yeah. So, this is General Jock, I believe. So let's open him up. The whole go in the back. I won't. If I hit the face, it won't be affected that much. Get these halves of his caves out. This one here. This is actually translucent. I don't know if you can tell, 
But if you shine the light, you can actually see the red. It's been covered by it. And you can see here how bright that is. It's really cool. And you can tell it's originally colored clear because the part here. Next one. And now here's the base connected to Count General Jock in the Six Made in China. And here he is, it's just the upper body General Jock. So I'll let you show this to you because. If I put it all together, you won't be able to see it as well. So look at that. That's where he holds the sword. In here. That's very... Very nice. So it's from the Crisis Empire. He's General Jack. The military leader of the Empire. And actually the leader of the army that invades and actually indirectly turns black into black Ardax when he um I think he's the one who broke the Kingstone in half now he got this and then became the child of the sun due to the um, sun's energy entering his body. So now that you've seen all the parts in detail, it's like the orange. I don't know if this is reminiscent of any scene that's actually in the show, but it looks very cool. So let's go back to the directions and see what we have to attach. So it's in the middle. So yeah. The cape should be on the side, the red one here and here, between the arms, sword here and then the hilt. So, yeah, this side goes on this because it's tab on his leg and then you can add the effect parts to him. It's really cool. So let's just add, let's put Count uh, General Jock together. See, I, I don't remember. This is. Oh, you can move this. It's cool. No, it has very detailed. Right in here. It's here. It's very nice. See where the slash begins. This final cut. So, this one. If I see right, there's two tabs in here. There's two tabs right here, so I have to look very carefully and punch this in. very loose in there but it will stay. So yeah, you see how the cape flows. And this one attaches through the side I guess. So I guess it will fit around here because I don't see any clear Indication. Oh, it's down here. Okay. Let's be very careful about this. Because right, we're over 15 minutes. 
Okay, the leg parts up here. Where does this peg sit? This is why you always consult. Okay, so it's leaning forward, so there's a peg down, peg hole down here. Okay, so let's put so it's in the between, I guess. Okay, take this one out for the easier. Okay, there. Okay, I see the peg here. And then this one should peg in here very securely. So then this will stay in there. I don't know if the capes go in between the legs here or not. No, this one is supposed to slant more outward. So probably the connection. It's really weird on this, I don't know. Okay, I think I might have found the peg holes. It's very very loose. Because it's clear plus I can't see. If these were the pegs and those were the pegs, I think this would be much more easier because you see here I can wind them up correctly but when I try to fit the entire thing in it doesn't really stay in here God. So I think that's just have to be stay on there due to gravity Like, I'll fiddle with this for a little bit, and then I'll just show you the final product, because this is not going to work out with me behind the camera, so stay tuned. Alright, so this is completed. This will stay in, but if you, like, touch it or hit it too hard, it'll fall off. So here, you see... Um, RX dealing the final blow to General Jot. Very nice. The sword barely grazes him. The effect part is very nice. So, I hope you enjoyed this one.